Are there artifacts that seriously challenge evolutionary theory? Well, let's ask the question another way. What would be the significance of finding human and dinosaur footprints in the same rock layer and verifying that those footprints were genuine? What would be that significance? Two of the nation's leading evolutionary spokesmen, Professor David H. Milne of the Evergreen State College, Olympia, Washington, and Professor Stephen D. Schaefersman of the Department of Geology, Rice University in Houston, Texas, admitted in writing that such an occurrence, that is, being able to demonstrate scientifically that man and dinosaur lived contemporaneously, such an occurrence, if verified, would seriously disrupt conventional interpretations of biological and geological history and would support the doctrines of creationism and catastrophism. Of course, they leaned or slanted that particular statement favoring geological history and calling creationism uh, an ism. However, Professor A. E. Wildersmith carried the implications even further. One authentic man track found in the same stratum as one authentic brontosaurus track or dinosaur track throws out a hundred years of evolutionary teachings. It is sufficient to bring the whole Darwinistic theory down and revolutionize all biology today. And I would agree with Professor A. E. Wildersmith. Is it possible to demonstrate that man and dinosaur lived contemporaneously? At the Creation Evidence Museum, among our other original artifacts, is the Willett print. This is an original Cretaceous rock. According to evolutionary theory, this rock was laid down about 110 million years ago. But let's see if that is correct. In the mid-1950s, O.W. Willett of Stephenville, Texas, came to the Glen Rose area to fish on the Paluxy River. As he did, the fish were not biting, but a recent flood had ripped up a ledge of limestone and exposed what is now the park ledge. What he did is now against the law, but it was not against the law at that time, so ownership of this particular artifact is certainly legal. He found a series of six human-like footprints, among dinosaur footprints and pterodactyl footprints. He took a chisel and cut this one out. You can see where he cut it along the side. In fact, the hole where he extracted it is still visible today. He took it out because here is a pterodactyl print with a webbed forefoot pad with a hallux heel area. And that pterodactyl footprint was stepped on by a human being. There is no other life form that makes a track like this. First, there's the great toe, the more sensitive, deeper second toe, third, fourth, little toe, the metatarsal arch, the ball of the foot, the medial arch, the lateral arch with a specific bulge in the upper section of the lateral arch and the heel cuboid calcaneus area. There is no question this is a human footprint stepping on a pterodactyl cousin to the dinosaur footprint. The question is, is this genuine? Because it's known that a few dinosaur tracks and a handful of human tracks were carved during the Depression because some of the old timers had found original human and dinosaur footprints in the Paluxy River Basin. We now have access to spiral CAT scan technology. Non-invasively, we're able to read through the rock and determine the compression density under to the side and in the forward motion of the footprint itself. Both of these footprints are genuine. That is the pterodactyl print with a hallux and the pliable pad of the forefoot. The compression density is genuine. Overlying that, overstepping that, is the human footprint. It is absolutely genuine in the spiral CAT scan show. This is sufficient, as Dr. A. E. Wildersmith said, to throw out the entire theory of Darwinistic evolution. And now we can take the ism off creation and catastrophe. So Drs. Milne and Schaefersman, your challenge has been met. And we have demonstrated that creation is far superior science. Man and dinosaur lived contemporaneously. 
And this rock assigned 110 million years in age is actually less than 5,000 years old, having been laid down during the worldwide flood of Noah's day.